Hey everyone, it's Dan from Tidal Gardens. So let's talk about feeding zoanthids. I'm big on feeding corals, and the benefits of feeding that are generally accepted are better polyp extension, better color, and most of all, growth. The downside, though, is the possibility that overfeeding um, could lead to some bad things such as high phosphates, high nitrates, and nuisance algae blooms that just won't go away. I've got a little issue with feeding these guys that I'll come back to a little later, but first I'll cover how we go about feeding. When people ask me what I should feed zoanthids, I typically respond with that cloudy stuff, quote unquote but I'm starting to realize that that description is not particularly helpful. So hopefully this video will show what the heck I'm actually talking about. So we first start off with some frozen food, either the sort that you get from the freezer at your local pet store or something you've made at home from things you've got from the grocery store and put into a food processor. Either one will work just fine for what we're going to be doing. Once you thaw out the frozen food of your choosing in a small container, you get a thick, chunky layer at the bottom, and then you also get a cloudy supernate at the top. Yay, chemistry terms. We want to feed the cloudy stuff at the top. Okay, so now the problem that I have with feeding zoanthids is that it's not 100% obvious that they're actually eating anything. Some of the other videos that I've done, um, for example, the Pseudocoronactus feeding or the large polyp stony feeding, um, it looks like those corals could pretty much eat a tuna if given the opportunity. But zoanthids don't give a lot of feedback. They close a tiny bit, but are they eating or are they just shying away? Now, paleothoas are a different story as you can see here. It's pretty obvious that they like to eat. I'm interested in what you guys think, so just for fun, I want to conduct a quick little poll. In the comments below, let me know whether you think that zoanthids benefit from feeding that I've described here. Alright, thanks for watching. Do visit my website, www.titlegardens.com, and don't forget to post your thoughts in the comments. Thanks!